Hey guys, hey it's Zayners, and this video, I'm doing things a little differently. I've, there's this website called K-Pop Secrets. Well, it's also a Tumblr, so kpopsecrets.tumblr.com, and basically, you know, self-explanatory K-Pop Secrets, every, secrets every, with everything to do with K-Pop. And, um... Basically, it's just people will just make anonymous posts about their secrets, like secrets that they're holding about K-pop. And I remember the first time I came across this um, website, also when I first got into K-pop, I remember I was one of those crazy fans that didn't like hearing negative things about their biases. So, for example, one time I was going across, I was on the website and I came across a picture of Minho. And someone wrote, anonymously obviously, it was, it was saying, I love Shiny, but to be quite honest, Minho is the useless one, is like utterly useless and is the useless member. I don't understand why people like him, he can't even rap well. And then they would have SB standing for a secret because, and they would say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge Shiny fan, I'm a Shadow Wall. And people would bash the shit out of me. And I remember... You know, this is how much of a different person I was. I remember fucking reblogging that and then writing underneath it saying like, you're lucky your ass is anonymous because I'd find your ass and cut you myself. Not a good look for me. Not a good look. I've changed. I don't care. Everyone has their opinion. Clearly he's not useless. Clearly he's a great rapper. And he is a key member in Shiny. So I <laughs> doesn't really phase me anymore. But you know, sometimes people do get a little hectic on these things. So I thought I'd read a couple and say my opinion on them, and then see what you guys think. So, here we go, K-Pop Secrets. The posts on this site are anonymously submitted by various people. Ooh, drama. Oh, here's a, I'll post the picture. And it says, it's a zinger from um, secret. I'll read it even though I'm not a big fan of Secret. Well, I don't like Secret at all, but I'll read it anyway. Someone said, oh my god, she looks so cheap with her ass hanging out like that. Like Zinger, what the, what happened to being classy? And then Secret because I'm, I'm Zinger's biggest, I'm Zinger's biggest fan. My fellow Zinger fans will murder me. Um, I don't think she looks trashy. Um, she's dancing in heels and kind of a, sh okay. Um, she's dancing in heels with kind of a short... I mean, her ass it I don't... I don't think she looks trashy, though. So, here's a post about Big Bang. It's no pictures, it's just a written post. I'm not a big Big Bang fan, but I can't help but be psyched about their award at the MTV Emmas because it means so many great things for other K-pop stars. It it's acknowledgement of K-pop, which means... Even the smaller groups in Korea might get more attention by non-Koreans. Secret because I know some Big Bang antis and they really think Big Bang doesn't deserve it. Um, I guess this will come out now. I have a huge love-hate for Big Bang. Like, I like the- I, I love their music. Like, when they, they, when they came back, that was huge. I was a part of it, I loved it. But then I got so annoyed with Big Bang because it was Big Bang this, Big Bang that, it was constantly Big Bang and probably, well what it is is basically because I think because Big Bang is so much bigger than Shiny, I just wish Shiny would have that thing but then again I kind of don't wish Shiny had that thing because I feel like when a group gets too big, I don't know, I have a love-hate for it, you know, but I was so happy that they won that award because Big Bang works really, really hard and they deserved that award. And I was I was very proud. I was very proud of them. So that's my thoughts on it. This is about fandoms. I don't like fandom names. I never classify myself as an elf or a Sony or a Blackjack or whatever else is out there because I think it's unnecessary to classify yourself into fandoms. It's stupid because fan wars start because of this. Just listen to their music and enjoy it. Who cares if you're an elf or a Blackjack? Um. I kind of like fandoms, you know? I like being a part of something like, oh, you're a blackjack? Me too. And then you just start like going off about, you know, your 21 bias and things like that. I kind of like fandoms. I like knowing other shiny fans and things like that. I think it's fun. Um, it does get a little hectic, but I don't necessarily think that 
just because you're in a fandom, you're going to start a war. Like, you could, like, great example. People who like Super Junior, people who like Girls' Generation, they might not identify themselves in the fandom, but they can still fight with each other because there's always huge wars between those two groups, and I never understood that. Like, it's ridiculous. It's the same entertainment agency. Support them. They support each other. Want the fuck you to support each other. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. There's pictures. Who's calling me? Damn, hold up. The title in quotes is, I want a Korean boyfriend. And then the paragraph under it says, No, you don't. You just want your, your, your opa. I mean, I may not live in Korea, but to think that every guy in Korea looks and acts like idols is just stupid. I'm not saying that every guy in Korea is ugly and has a bad personality, but to think that they all look like Top or C1 is just, no. And the whole Korean men aren't afraid to wear makeup thing, I have seen people say it's kind of ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that Korean men aren't wearing tons of eyeliner and foundation. Secret because I don't want angry people after me. Sorry for my bad English. So, um, I get what they're saying. I get, because when I'm on my K-pop Tumblr a lot, we're like, oh, why can't you just be mono? Why can't I just have a Korean boyfriend? Things like that. And I feel like they are making south korea seem like it's all men that look like korean idols because and that's obviously not the case you have idols because of because of their talent and their looks looks in korea is a big thing like they have famous people who are famous because they're attractive like looks are a big thing in korea i think i will do one more picture oh this is about Bomb. I like her. She's my bias. Out of all the K-pop idols out there, I am jealous of 21's Park Bomb the most. She has everything. She comes from a rich family. She can play multiple instruments. Her voice is unique. She has a funny personality. She's pretty and she's and she's close to Big Bang. I always wonder how some people are just so blessed and get to live such amazing lives while other while other lead average lives where everything is just so ordinary. Secret because I know how pathetic this secret is but sometimes I just feel so unhappy about stuff and I have no one and nothing to vent to. Oh well Bomb is my second bias in 21. My first one's Minji. Um I don't think it's pathetic to think like that. I think everyone thinks like that every once in a while like you're, je you're envious towards someone because their life may be easier on the outside but maybe on maybe you know on the inside her life may not be that easy I mean fame and fortune doesn't make your life easier you know so I don't think it's pathetic for this person to think that way um, she said that she has no one or nothing to vent to she kind of just vented to this website so in a way that was I guess that was kind of therapeutic for her that's it because this video is 11 minutes long and I'm definitely going to edit this so it's not that long but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll put the link to the website below. Tell me what you think. Some of your opinions on, are on some of these things. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye.